I'm David Smith with the Princeton Public Affairs Group. Welcome to this week's e-news update. New Jersey's battle over raising the minimum wage is gaining more attention as election day draws near. New Jersey voters will decide November 5th whether to approve a constitutional amendment to hike the minimum wage from $7.25 to $8.25 and install yearly automatic increases based on the Consumer Price Index. Democrats in the state legislature put the question to voters after Governor Christie vetoed their effort to pass an increase through legislation, saying the state's economy is too weak to handle it. Late last week, the Supreme Court of New Jersey ruled that same-sex couples can marry beginning October 21st. It's been reported that the governor plans on appealing the ruling. The governor has also announced that he thinks the issue should be decided by the people via a referendum. This week, the State Department of Education confirmed that it had approved three of the 38 applications for new charter schools to open in 2014, two of them located in Trenton and a third in Jersey City. The approvals are only preliminary, with final charters not issued until next summer. In other news, Rutgers University expects to pull in at least additional $200 million over 12 years by moving its athletic teams to the Big Ten Conference, school officials said. The estimate was given to the Rutgers Board of Governors during a briefing on the state university's costly move to the more prestigious conference. Rutgers is scheduled to move into the Big Ten next July 1st. For more information, please go to ppag.com. Have a great weekend.